who reposes the highest and most important responsibility, it can rest upon any officer of the Marine Corps League. The detachment is the most important unit in the League, for it is composed of the membership, which is the very heart of the League. Without the detachment, the other units of the League would have no reason for existence. The life and growth of the League begins with the detachment. Hold constantly before your eyes of your fellow members the great principles upon which the League strives. Leading governed fairly and impartially. Strike quickly to prevent political sectarianism and improper debate in your meetings. Strive to promote harmonious interest and efforts among your fellow members. Be alert in supervising the work of your officers. Require them to be constantly bear in mind the obligation of their oaths. Nevertheless, exercise a kindly attitude in all you say and do. Be quick to praise and cautious to abolish. To you, given the opportunity of so administrating the affairs of the detachment, that is, that it can and will improve in interest, work, and growth. Call upon your staff of officers for assistance and advice. With their help, formulate a progressive program for your term of office. Do not accept your office lightly. Conduct yourself with the determination at the end of your tour of duty will mark a task well done. I congratulate you, sir, Commandant. Thank you. Sergeant Arm, escort the Commandant to his post. Hi, hi, sir. <coughs> Fellow Marines, FMF Corpsmen and FMF Navy Chaplains, I present to you the officers you have chosen. I congratulate you on your selection and venture the opinion that they have been well made. Allow me to admonish you that you cannot now stand aside and expect your officers to guide the destinies of this detachment or to ensure its, or to ensure its growth, success, and welfare. It is your duty to assist them in every way possible and to discharge your assignments cheerfully. Help your officers make this detachment an organization of Marine Corps League and your community will respect and honor. Sergeant Arms, proclaim the officers of the Patriot Detachment of Marine Corps League to be duly installed into office. By direction and authority of the installing officer, I proclaim the officers of the Patriot Detachment Duly installed into office. Jeff, you lead us in prayer. As to your religious preference, uncover. Heavenly Father, Supreme Commandant, we beseech thee to bless these newly installed officers of the Marine Corps League so that they may serve with as much benefit and credit to themselves as they have already served as United States Marines or as FMF Corpsmen or FMF Navy Chaplains in our beloved Corps. Grant, O oh Heavenly Father, that their guidance and our deliberations prove beneficial for a prosperous term of office. Make us, each one of us, ever mindful of our motto, Semper Fidelis, and make our whole aim be, Thy will be done. Amen. 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 <coughs> I present to you, Sir Commandant, this gravel, gavel, as an emblem of your authority and responsibility. I trust you will always use it discreetly and wisely. During your past, <coughs> you may now perform the last duty of your post. Oh, during your past. Where is he? You, you have a book. Yeah. Center of the colors. All rise, please.
And the past commandant. Okay, you're going to pass the colors. That's good. Just face that way. I'll get out of the way. Okay. Salute the colors. To present, present the colors to the junior pet. <coughs> Face each other. Old on new salute the colors. Pass the colors. Salute the colors. So that's good enough. <laughs> Now you say post the colors. Post the colors. Which side are you on? You may now be seated. The ceremony is complete. Colors, change of command has been complete. Don't go anywhere. You're up here. Uh -huh.